Welcome back guys. Been a while, eh? Couple of hours. <laughs> so hopefully my microphone is now working so you guys can hear me better. Um we are going to be continuing our Imperial campaign with Volkmar. So here we go. Okay, so here we are, yet again, in this beautiful game. Okay, so, we got Hans Zintler here. We might want to take him out before moving on Helmgard. Okay, so... So, we could... Hmm, I'll keep... I think this one's better. Alright, Volkmar, you're promoted. Alright, nice. Uh, I wanna see when do I get Carl. Oh, arch collectors are good. Mm, Grandmasters are great too. Nice, nice. Okay, so Carl, Confederation, Altorf Conquest of Battle Wizards. Let's see. Let's see if they want to trade now. The Empire only crossed the Grey Mountains when they need something from me. That's true, what is Leon. It this, time? this time, I need condoms. Oh, well then, thank you. Let's finish the turn and get rid of Hans. Okay, so Zintler's taking up a defensive position. We should go deal with him. Volkmar, let's move him over here. Yes. And let's see, no. Oh, why not? Let's get one of these. Let's get. Hmm. Actually, we're gonna get these and these. Okay, we have that quest. So. Oh, okay, good. Let's do this. So, with this uh, research, th these are the researchers. In case you don't know, you will research these, uh, let's say, power ups? Fine. Uh, so, you can get experience, you know, uh, weapon damage, and melee defense, other bonuses for your troops and your faction in general. So, what we're getting now is experience for Empire Infantry units. For example, uh, if I had this already researched, um, these three guys here would would uh, uh, what would start off with these little ranks. You see, they wouldn't be as high, I guess. Probably be like this, maybe a bit better. I always go like this. These three are very important. All right, let's end this. Okay, so it turns out our friend Ramfield the Zintler probably ran to Helmgard. Onwards. Yes, he did. Let's Too go back. crush him. Alright. Um, I think we can do this. I think we can pull it off. Our units are way better, so let's do it. I was right. I was right. I'm always right. See? Told you. Nice. We got some loot. A new rank. Alright. 
Occupy. Excellent. Another unit. Another regiment. So. We're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna get this. We're gonna check on... Yeah, Steroid's Revenge. Nice. Vanguard deployment. Nice, nice. Okay, and... Let's give our friend the Volkmarion some more health. So next turn we take Eilhart and we unite the province under the Imperial banner. Sorry. So, okay, so we're strength rank 11. Let's check up on the counts. 7. Mofos. What are they taking? What did they... Okay, they took Essen, Eschen and Drakenhof. Okay, what about Templehof? Have we not discovered them yet? Okay, let's go. My lord, a rival oh, nice. Power desires a change in Excellent. Thank you, Sterland. Good. Okay, so in the last video, um, I told you about the Vampire Wars, or at least I was going to tell you about the Vampire Wars. The Vampire Wars began in... Ready. Uh, oh, I can't remember the date, but they began after the death of Count Otto von Drac, which was the ruler of Sylvania. After he died, uh, Vlad von Karstein, the first and the greatest of the von Karstein vampires, took over Sylvania and married Otto von Drac's daughter, Isabella. Um, of course, he then gave her the blood kiss. This is the ritual by which someone becomes a vampire. Um, eventually, many, many, many long years after... Oh, good. After von Drac's death, um, it was already clear to the populace of Sylvania that Vlad and Isabella were not the common ruler. I mean, they were alive after a very long time after Otto von Drac died. And he wasn't that young when he died. So, Vlad uh, believed himself to have been betrayed by the Empire because he helped Sigmar destroy... I believe it was the Greenskins and the Chaos Warriors. But he wasn't given credit for that. He is, I believe... He is the true Arch... No, not Arch. Uh, Elector Count of Stirland. And since he felt betrayed, he decided to attack the Empire. And that gave birth to the First Vampire War. He raised a massive army and started plundering everything, destroying and raising every settlement from Drakenhof to Altdorf, sieging and destroying Averheim, which is actually a powerful city. So, now here's the thing. The vampires, as I've told you, can raise the dead. So, he created uh, an immense army. Oh good, we're staying rank 3. Uh, he did this because every time he killed someone, that person would rise back from the dead. Oh, wait. To join his army. And every time someone killed uh, one of his, they would come back. It's a pretty unstoppable army. Uh, the only negative side of it. Uh, oh, why not? Um was that the army would completely collapse if the person uh, commanding them would die. So, for example, if Vlad was to die... Your prestige grows, my lord. Hold on. News of your conquest spreads far and wide. Your oh. developing power is noted by even the most distant of kings and bestial lords. Good, good. So... Um, where was I? Oh yes, uh, if Vlad were to die, his entire his entire army would crumble because 
the army was sustained by dark magic and if the person um, generating said magic died the army would be well fucked uh, excuse me for the bad language but literally um, so how was Vlad defeated Vlad kept this ring on him that uh, gave him the power to come back every time he died so for example in the first battle he fought against the Empire with his army he died uh, and Isabella was heartbroken and but someone someone else had to lead the army had to be the new count of Sylvania etc etc and a young general from the Empire volunteered himself I, I can't quite remember why but he volunteered himself and Isabella said um, I think she said I will only marry you if you can defeat me in close combat uh, you know sword play uh, and he was actually a very good it is swordsman good to see fellow sons of the Empire however when he agreed to do the the combat his uh, his head his neck was snapped by Vlad himself who said uh, something like you'll have to come through me first or something I don't quite remember it was very cliche whatever this was just to show you that he could come back and that ring he kept on him that allowed him to come back was a von Karstein ring I don't know where it came from, that's lost in the lore, I think. Don't quote me on that. Again. So, to defeat Vlad, you would have to take his ring away from him. So, the current Emperor... We're gonna declare war to these guys, because honestly they're raiding my land, they're spreading corruption, I don't want that, so we're gonna destroy them. So, um, the current Emperor of Altdorf, oh, that's easy, started plotting with certain officials of the Empire, and they decided to capture a very very known thief at the time I think an uncatchable thief or something like that so they eventually captured the thief and they told him they would pardon the thief if the thief were able to steal von Karstein's ring and he was so unknowing that the ring had been stolen Vlad besieged Altdorf and fought the Emperor on the walls of the city itself and um, despite v being very quick and agile and stronger than a common man even for the Emperor himself Vlad uh, was winning the battle however uh, I believe I believe the Emperor pushed him over the wall and he landed on uh, uh, um, what is it called? It's not a stake. Is it a stake? Well, it's one of those very big, sharp sticks that they put on the floor to protect against horses, I guess. Don't quote me, though. They f they fell, both of them, on that stake. Don't quote me again. Um, and, well, if the irony is, if Vlad hadn't fallen on the stick, he would have died, uh, I mean he would have lived, because he was a very strong creature, he's a vampire. He would have lived, however since he fell on the stick, or stake or whatever, he died. And since he had, he didn't have the ring, well, that was the end. Uh, I've heard as well that um, Isabella, uh, she thought he would come back to life because of the ring, she went uh, to the battlefield to those stakes look for Vlad's body to retrieve him because she thought he was gonna come back Greetings, which is really sad I welcome your offer. and uh, in in an act of compassion if you could say that the arch rector 
of Altdorf uh, tried to explain to her the 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 plan they had laid out and that Vlad wasn't coming back and in her uh, you I guess you could say uh, could say shame and sadness and etc she threw herself on the stake and that was the end for those two von Karsteins Isabella and Vlad because Vlad had two other brothers who d who uh, were able to carry on I guess his plan um, and created two more vampire wars after this a couple dozens of years later but and s I guess the second one and the third one suck the ass no one ever came close to Altdorf as much as Vlad did but oh well well that's the story for the first uh, vampire war could have been more detailed I know don't don't butcher me but oh well let's actually play this I was thinking I was going to move uh, Volkmar to take Marienburg since it's a great city but since they have a new army there I'm gonna give up on that idea and I'm probably just gonna the attack the skull smashers here not the skull smashers yes the skull smashers Let's just hope Marion Bird doesn't get pissed. God damn it. Sure. So Marion Bird just took Grungzint, the Skull Smashers. This is bad. I'm not sure um, what to do now. Let me, let me think. Let me see what other enemies we have. These are hordes. God damn you. Well then. Let me think. Let me think. You know what we could do? We don't have much time left. Don't blame me. Blame YouTube's policies. Um, we could try and build up our economy a bit. We're doing very good actually. We could raise another army. Let's raise one right here. Yes, excellent. Let's raise a lord at Eilhart. Let's fill him up with troops. And let's take Marienburg in a massive battle. We could do that. I think our economy can do it. Um, I want you guys... Actually, right now, we're gonna play that quest battle. No, nope. oh, don't go through there. I want you guys and girls to decide what lord I will pick. Do you want a Grandmaster Dietz Mosher? Knights of the Black Bear. This is actually a very good one. I would go for it. You better go for it. I know where you guys live. So, attrition minus 80% casualties suffered from snow attrition. It's very good. We have a regular lord. We have wizards. And we have our friend, the Emperor, which we cannot get yet. Honestly, I'm liking the Grandmaster. You guys comment down on the comment section below. Tell me what lord I should recruit. And in the next video, we will get him. And we will start um, filling him up with troops. Because now, we're going to focus on Volkmar and his quest. Okay, so our research is done. Let's go get some leadership for our troops. And let's move Blessings Volkmar forward. Okay. Let me see if we have any trading deals that we could do. I will listen. Nope. But my time is short. You know what else is short, Eben? I'll let you guess. As hat doesn't want imperial goods. You don't want wine. You don't like wine. You make me sick to my ca oh boy. Hold on. They're rank one already. They suck. Okay. Let's go. The righteous
Okay, so time to play this quest battle. Are you guys ready? Um, this is not auto resolvable. It is like a mandatory battle you have to play. So let's do it. We got a very good army, so I'm not expecting to lose anything. Let's do this. Alright, good. So we're ambushing the. Um, what are these guys? Whatever, they, they won't say. They're rebels. Uh, they are gonna have reinforcements. And uh, yeah, they're gonna get their ass handed to them in a silver platter. Or I guess a green platter. Let's do this. No, and I read the description. It says there are more than traders lurking in Blood Pine Woods. I kinda got excited. Like, ooh, we're gonna run into something bad in this battle. But then, you know, spoiler alert, you don't. Let's listen to the speech, if there's any. Really? No speech. Okay then, I guess Volkmar is not a man of speeches. Let's take a look at our reg uh, regiments of renown, shall we? They look really good. These are the s sons of Sigmar, I believe. They look good too. And this, this here is um, Sterling's Revenge, I believe. Yes, it is. They look really good. We must defend our homes. This looks like a very good army, does it not? Look at this. Look at these guys. They look so nice. Uh, your stick is kind of on fire, bro. I hope that's not all that's on fire. Okay, so their army is right here. They got, you know, their regular shitty units. They got some artillery. What are these? Hellblasters? No, Hellstorm. And uh, mortars. Okay. I think our men are pretty much in a good position. Let's start this. So, um... What I always do is I take this army out first. So, the other one... No, they don't join up and become a strong army. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna charge right at them. I want my horses to go through the other side, through he no wait, through here, so they can charge at the artillery from behind. Let's get these two guys, and these two guys, and these two guys, these guys. Um, they will shoot you. You will shoot. You, you, well, uh, here, and these two here. Okay, I think Volkmar might want to go fight Richter, and that should be it. Let's go. Let's make sure we kill all of them. Okay, firing has begun. That looks nice. Nice. Beautiful graphics. I think they're gonna. F oh, nice. How did we miss that? That is so awesome. I'm not even paying attention to the battle. I don't have to. That it looks awesome. They do jump a little bit. Oh, God. Okay, that's too much. You done fucked it up now. Kill them! Traitors! Send us out! Take in that position! Hail Sigma! Hail them, Hammer! Still in front it! Hammer's ready! Charge! So we're gonna charge our companies in. 
because they're very good in melee. Look at him go. Oh, that was a fail of a kick. Come on, guys, fight. That kinda. That's terrible. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Come on, shoot him already, do it. Do it, come on. Come on. Oh, nice. Not as many kills as as I was expecting. Look at that bunch of troops. Okay, here they come. Okay, so I'm resetting them all up. Um, okay, good. This guy's back. Let's send him over to the group. And that should be it. Okay, so here they come. The other ones are rallying back. Let them. Slay them before they do us. Oh, pistol ears. Let them. Okay, so they're coming. Open fire on them bastards. Yeah. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. My god. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're not gonna catch up. Or are they? Nope. Oh, come on, guys. Hey, that was... That was what? One? Two? Nice, come on. 
Okay. Look at that puny bastards. Okay, nice. Good. Nice. Come on, Volkmar, come on. Nice! Bash his face in. Look at the size of the lords. The troops are just like little kids fighting. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my troops. Okay, this is over. Good. Good. Wabam! I I need to see if he gets any spells or something. That'd be good. All right, let's bring our cavalry. Then, this has been one. I knew it. Good, good. We did lose a lot of troops though. Was not expecting that much. All right, nice, good, good. A lot of, a lot of loot. Could have been better though. Look at the casualties we gave them. We killed their lord too. Okay, this was good. So we are going to get. Oh, nice! I was not expecting that. See, we got a battle wizard and the sword of striking. Yep. Okay, so this is good. Let's call the Theogenist back. Let's get the silver bullets. And the wizard. Good. Okay, so we're gonna get some defense and attack. Okay, good. Perhaps... Perhaps later we will fight Marienburg. So, I'm afraid we're gonna have to call it a night. Um, I will see you guys and girls next video. Oh, and remember, let me know in the comments what lord you want. Grandmasters, lords, wizards. There are two grandmasters, a lot of a lot of uh, wizards, and one lord. You just pick. Honestly, I would go for. Hmm. I would go for deeds, but that's your choice. Okay, I will see you all on the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.